Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here for the last video of the year. Uh, it's not gonna be an impression video. Sorry about that. And no, I do not have a catchy opening sequence screen yet because I haven't gone to Fiverr to request one like everyone else has. Uh, today we're actually going to go over a uh, question or rather a request that um, a uh, viewer uh, had for my last video, the one where I talked about the Audio-Technica uh, AT875R. They asked for a comparison of two mics. Uh, of course the AT875R right here and my Blue Spark. Now this of course is my uh, voiceover mic. This is the mic that I use for all my voiceover um, because it is a, has a very robust, very uh, clean, and very smooth sound. It was actually compared to the Neumann U87, which is a beast of a uh, voiceover mic. It's basically the industry standard. The Blue Spark is a $200 to $300 mic. Uh, I think I got it for $200. And this is a $170 mic to $200 mic. Um, and I got it for $170 off Amazon. Came in. It is a beautiful, beautiful mic. As you can see, it is a short, very short, uh, small diaphragm uh, condenser shotgun mic. It is actually perfect for indoor dialogue. And I've actually been doing some testing with it for voiceover in my voiceover space. And I've actually been getting some pretty good results. Now I'm starting to kind of listen as I've been using it on different applications for different voices. I'm starting to actually hear where this shotgun mic um, might not be the best for voiceover. However, it does very easily compare to the Blue Spark, which like I said before, compared to the Neumann U87. So this in some small way kind of compares to the Neumann U87. It's rather interesting. But it does have emphasis on the high tones. Uh, the S's, the T's, any of the sharp sounds um, in your voice, um, as opposed to this, which gives a lot more emphasis on your low tones, your bass, your B's, your um, M's, uh, anything where it's a lot of chest noise. Uh, right now, you're actually listening to uh, the audio on a uh, video mic from Rode. I got this mic uh, a long time ago. It's great, but it's not great for everything. Not entirely sure how much you can get the video mic for. Uh, mine, is, of course, is an older version uh, they've updated recently. Um, but it still is a pretty good mic, and it's probably what most of you guys are using if you are into video or videography. Videography? No? Yes? Videography. Rode is a very uh, trusted uh, company when it comes to video uh, sound. So this is a mic that I still use. It is a good mic. But it's not what I prefer. I would prefer something like this. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my voiceover space and I'm going to record some dialogue using the two mics. I'm going to let you guys listen and decide which ones you like better. Uh, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to record uh, with the two mics um, in, um, in a more noisy environment. Um, I, of course, this is a shotgun mic. This is what it's good for. But can the Blue Spark still be used in a noisy, echoey environment, more like an open space like this? We'll find out. At Hazen Company, we're devoted to creating excellent wetsuits for both amateur and pro kite surfers alike. We love kite surfing, but we're fed up with the wetsuit market. So, with just the two of us, we decided to begin designing wetsuits. And that is how Hayes & Company came to be. At Hayes & Company, we're devoted to creating excellent wetsuits for both amateur and pro kite surfers alike. We love kite surfing, but we're fed up with the wetsuit market. So, with just the two of us, we decided to begin designing wetsuits. And that is how Hayes & Company came to be. At Hayes & Company, we're devoted to creating excellent wetsuits for both amateur and pro kite surfers alike. We love kite surfing, but we're fed up with the wetsuit market. So, with just the two of us, we decided to begin designing wetsuits. And that is how Hayes & Company came to be. Alrighty, here we are in one of the noisiest rooms that I have uh, in my house. Uh, this is the AT875R. Uh, it's probably about probably about four or five inches away from my mouth, away from my chin. Um, 
and it is hooked into my iPhone, into my iRig Pre. I have the door, uh, the window, uh, a, uh, a sliding door uh, open to my right. There's a lot of noise out there. I have left the AC on, so there's noise coming from over there. And so you're just listening uh, to the mic with noise coming from both sides, seeing how well the shotgun mic actually cancels out the two noise and seeing how good it is with the echo in a large space, doing dialogue at a prop probably, probably uh, how far you would have it um, uh, on, on camera, because you'd probably zoom in a little bit more, and so it would actually be uh, just above my head. So it's not that far off from where it might be uh, if you were to actually like shoot or have it in camera, because all I gotta do is like just bring this a little bit closer. And there, can't see it. So anyway, uh, there you go. That is the AT875R from Audio-Technica. And here we have the Blue Spark from Blue. This is actually their most affordable uh, microphone uh, in the $200 range. Um, it's of course not what you'd want to use for indoor dialogue. It is a large diaphragm instead of a small diaphragm, which is probably what you're going to want to go for, uh, that or a uh, shotgun mic. Um, but in a lot of my videos, like my impression videos, I actually use uh, an Audio-Technica AT2020, uh, uh, probably about the distance from my mouth that I have uh, the Blue Spark right now. And if, just like the uh, Blue Spark, the Audio-Technica is a large diaphragm uh, microphone condenser. And so it does get really good sound if it's in a treated room, which this is obviously not. And again, I have the sliding door open and the AC on. So you got noise from the right and noise from the left. Um, and this is probably probably about three, three inches from my chin. I'm going to try to match the levels as best I can uh, in edit. But other than that, uh, there you go. There is an audio test. Um, of the Audio-Technica AT875R and the Blue Spark in a noisy, dreadfully awful sound room. Room for sound. It's dreadful. It's awful. It's just bad. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you liked uh, the samples and audio tests uh, in this video, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see any more uh, demonstrations or tests or examples uh, in further videos, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Also, uh, links to any of the mics, to the three mics, the Blue Spark, the Audio-Technica ATR87, uh, Audio-Technica 875R, as well as the Rode video mic. Links to those mics on Amazon will be down in the description box below. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching and catch you later.